James Akers here, the tie guy. I uh, just got a lot of new ties in this past week, so I'm excited to start sharing them with you. Uh, nothing to me better than tying a brand new tie. I love that. The first one we're going to be starting with is a very classic looking Dolce Punta. Um, I've had a Dolce Punta in the past. They make a very, very, very high quality tie. <clears throat> I mean, one of the one of the nicest ties I've ever had before, and so I'm excited about tying this one. It's a very heavy silk. So Dolce Punta ties are uh, painstakingly crafted. Uh, they are definitely heavier than than equivalent ties. This is a nice wide tie, beautiful classic tie. It's uh it's yellow with purple and green striping across it. Um, the silk lays absolutely perfect. It has a super luxurious feel. You know, I give just honest, pure reviews here. And it feels like just a really dense silk, but very, very soft. So there's not a lot of rigidness to it, but it's heavy. I mean, if, if there was a way I could show you the weight of it compared to other ties, it's just a lot heavier. has a really nice feel. And I remember the last one I had, it just tied like butter. So we're going to tie this up and see, uh, see how it comes together. Um, they are an Italian company uh, and very, very high quality. They're also very expensive ties, but uh, I'm excited about tying this thing up. Um, because it's a, uh, I, I didn't show the thickness, I apologize. It's kind of a medium thickness. It's not very, not thin, but not super thick. But that's why it feels real heavy. It looks like it's a thinner tie, like a Ferragamo, but it weighs like three times the, the weight. But um, with being a wide tie medium, I'm probably going to need, I'm thinking somewhere in this range on my spot, which is going to put this slightly below my pectoral muscle. Um, you can't always go by this, guys, by this side of the tie, because different ties have different lengths, you know. Um, you got to go by the longer side because this is the part that actually shows. So we get the tip of that tie between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. So let's tie it up, see how it comes together. So take the long part of the tie over top of the short part, and we come underneath, up, and through. Then we come around behind, all the way around behind, keeping everything nice and tight, up, over, down, and through. Man, I love this tie. It just feels amazing. This is what I call a checkpoint. I want to make sure that we're getting our triangle, which we are. Then we come around the front, creating a little pocket here, back in behind, up and through, and we're going to push it down through that little pocket we just created. And this tie is thick, people, really, really, really high quality. Probably going to have to retie it. I think we're going to be short. But uh, we hold it to the knot, and we pull on the long part of the tie, give us a perfect triangle, and then we pull the short part, bring it up, and yeah, I am definitely short. The density of this tie, it's so dense that it's requiring more silk to make the knot, so let's retie it. You've seen a few of it. If you've watched my videos before, I've had to retie ties before, especially a brand new tie, uh, you know, where I haven't had a chance. So this one will go even longer. I'm going to bring us up just barely under. Now, I'm going to tie a little quicker this time because we uh, just showed you how. So let's just uh, tie it up real quick so we can get to a finished product, show you a finished product. I can't get over the density of this tie. That's the best word I can use for it is density. It just um, really has a, a, a solid feel to it. Um, it's heavy. It's a very heavy tie. I mean, you know, heavy for compared to other ties. Let's see how this looks here. Now we're getting in the wheelhouse. Nice triangle. Get up to our neck. And tip of the tie is past the top. We're good there. Let me bring the color down. And let's clean it all up. We don't want any gap right here, so we want to. And we're wearing a purple shirt, of course, across purple stripes in the tie. So let's tighten this knob just a little bit more. And let's bring it up, get rid of any gapping. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful tie. We'll tuck this in the keeper if it'll fit. Won't quite fit because I had to use so much of the tie. Okay, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today we're wearing a navy blue. A Myrna Gilda Zinnia suit, navy blue Zinnia suit, has some uh, faint um, checkerboard patterns within it, uh, or window pane patterns. We're wearing a purple Brooks Brothers shirt uh, with French cuffs, which we'll go over the cuff links with you in just a second. We are wearing a yellow Dolce Punta tie with purple diagonal stripes surrounded by green. Wearing a dressy brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle, pairing that with a pair of brown Bally Oxfords, and we're topping that off with a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo uh, Gansini logo um, cufflinks. On my Instagram, which is Ty Guy James Acres, 
you'll see close-ups of the cufflinks, close-ups of the shoes, the belt, the whole outfit stage, selfies of me wearing the outfit, as well as close-ups of the tie and the knot. So check out my Instagram. If you like my videos, please click subscribe and like, guys. I am ready for work.